hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is jada um to, as you can see by the title today i will be letting you guys know what to do prior to surgery um if you're joining me on the vsg journey welcome if you're interested do it <laughs> but i'm just gonna tell you guys how i did it <laughs> So to start, um, I always knew that I wanted to do something about my weight. I didn't know where to start. Um, I didn't know how to get into it. I did know, I do know that me going to the gym just wasn't consistent enough and I wanted the weight off fairly quickly. So what I did, I, um, I had people around me that got it like, Hey, you got the surgery. How is it? How do you feel? um how is it going like I, I genuinely asked questions to the three people I knew that had VSG surgery prior to me in here in Atlanta if you don't know I am located here in Atlanta um or here in Georgia I'm not in Atlanta um <laughs> and I took their advice and I went with them so I me personally i called emory emory midtown if you if you if you are located in georgia um i called emory midtown and i do know that they have a bariatric program so i googled it i googled their bariatric program and i said hey um i'm interested i want to know what i have to do and she said well we have a 300 dollars program fee but you pay 150 at your first appointment then you pay 150 at your last appointment if you're approved um and we can make you an appointment so they made me an appointment for two months later. And I think I did it like while I was at work or something. They made my appointment for two months later. And they let me know like what insurance covers it and which insurances don't. For me, myself, I have Blue Cross Blue Shield PPO plan. So when my surgery, well, when my consultation came up, um, I went to the hospital and I went to their bariatric floor. They signed me in as a guest. And then they took my weight. They took my vitals. They took... Um, my EKG of my heart and yeah that was about it and then I had about a two hour meeting with the di the dietitian the morning of I think it was like September 9th or something like that I had a meeting with the dietitian and it was about six of us there at the appointment the dietitian she gave us a binder a binder of what pills we need to take um, if we are approved for surgery um, what vitamins we're able to take, what multivitamins, the vitamins that you have to take for the rest of your life if you go ahead and go along with the surgery, which your serving portion should, should be like the four ounces to three ounces, and then immediately after surgery, what you're supposed to have within that week, the, the liquid stage, the pureed stage, the soft foods, and then the regular diet. She went over all of that, no more soda. She just let us know what we had to do to, be, to have a successful surgery. So after we met with her for about two hours, um, we had individual appointments with, I don't know what to call him. He's not a psychologist, he's not a doctor, but we had to sit with him and tell him like our story. Like, you know, I've been overweight my whole life. I wanna move forward with VSG. What do you recommend? He asks you if you snore at night, if you have high cholesterol, if diabetes runs in your family. He asks you your whole medical background, although it's on his computer he asks you for your whole medical background and i told him the truth i told him everything so what what we got from that appointment he said well i'm gonna go ahead and approve you for surgery um but i need you to i need you to do <clears throat> more blood work within about a month i need you to do your ekgs that's how i did my ekgs and things like that because he told me that that i needed them and I and I need I have to speak with a psychologist every month up until surgery, so that's what I had to do. Now, if I would have told him that I snored and things like that, I would I would have had to do a sleep apnea test, but um, I didn't have to do that. But I do know that my brother did. That was the only difference he had really. Um, he had to do that to see how many times he snores or how many times he stopped breathing at night while he snores. So that the anesthesiologist can know those things and stuff like that um but i didn't have that issue mine was a uh, pretty sm smooth going um it was just pretty rough so i had to speak with him every month um consecutively like i had to talk to him on the not the same day but i had to speak to him every month up until surgery um and then i also had to speak with a psychologist i met with her twice um you have to do you have to be psych 
psychically you have to be cleared by by a psychologist to see if you're mentally ready and medically fit for the surgery um and this has this has to be your last resort like you know i've told him i've always been i've been to the gym i've i've been on fentermin i've done x y and z i've tried everything in the books this is my last resort please help me help me that's it help me so um they did let me know that my my insurance is gonna cover 80 percent. i never knew how much the surgery cost guys okay never knew that's crazy. I'm gonna get into that though. Um, so my insurance covered 80%. And then after that meeting, they did let me know that my, they were letting everybody in the room know, I think there's about six of us. They were letting everyone in the room, if there's no, know if their insurance covers it. And if they do, how long you have to wait on your surgery date. So with mine, I had no, no, con no consecutive visits. Um, I can have surgery whenever um, I'm ready, but I did have a government job, so I feel like that factored into it. But I knew that, I, and I had Blue Cross Blue Shield, but I do know that another Blue Cross Blue Shield lady, she had to wait six months. She had to do six consecutive appointments with the guy I told you about. He's the one that does them. Um, she had to do six consecutive um, appointments with him monthly before she can get her surgery date. I know, like, people that had Aetna, they had to wait 12 months. Um... And there were a couple of people that was either six months or a year or eight months. So me, I was the only person in the room that they said, it doesn't matter. You're able to get your surgery tomorrow if you would like. Oh, my gosh. That that took weight off my shoulders. But what I would recommend to everyone, of course, go get your consultation. Hear out what the doctor says. Um, shop around for the cheapest doctor, but please make sure that they're safe. If you don't have insurance, I do know that a lot of individuals go to Tijuana, Mexico or Tijuana, California. One of those, I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure you can look up Tijuana Bariatric Surgery and it'll come up. Um, they're able to do that for about eight grand cash like you know like without any surgery and they provide everything that you need and things like that but i just mine was literally 15 minutes from my house so i went with that make sure, and if you are going with your insurance make sure that they're in network and not out of network be very transparent with this person that you're going to see because your life is on the line if you have diabetes let them know you have diabetes if you have high cholesterol let them know i do know that a lot of you are ashamed and don't want to or a lot of us because i'm one of them but i put my pride aside and i let this man know all of my medical history and so that he can determine what's best for me from a medical standpoint because of course i don't know um and ask the doctor what they recommend so by your size by your weight and from their experience they're able to let you know whether they recommend that you have the sleeve or you have the bypass like you know we all watch my hundred my 600 pound life the sleeve is not going to do much for them because you typically lose like 100 pounds 150 pounds max i've seen people lose like 120 130 right now i'm at 85 um and i've been at 85 since six months and i'm i've been maintaining my weight for three months now and i do not like that but i will correct that in the description um if i am incorrect um again for motivational purposes join facebook groups you can type in vsg you can type in um bariatric bypass bariatric anything and groups will pop up and you're able to join those groups just to know that you're not alone there's a million not millions maybe there's a lot of individuals men and women that are going along this journey with us they just don't speak about it publicly like i do or other youtubers do but when i was going through my journey there was probably videos from four or five years ago that's why i decided to publicly um do my well publicly record my journey to just have you guys have that recent 2022 2023 2021 just recent feedback about this surgery and guys i wouldn't go back i wouldn't go back like can you imagine trying to lose 85 pounds naturally and i'm not knocking anyone that has done it but me personally mentally I don't think I would have been able to do it. Not not consistently going to work nine to five, eating healthy. Mm -mm. One thing about it, I'm gonna stop and get me a little six piece and a fry from McDonald's. Used to, you know, like <laughs> um no, but I'll, I'll talk about where I am now. 
So steps, had my consultation, meeting with the dietitian, did my blood work. I had to do monthly check-ins, but I only had about three until he's like, all right, I think you're ready for surgery. Um, but mine was, I had no limited or no designated amount of times I had to go for my monthly checkup. He just let me know when he thought I was ready. And then it was a waiting game. It's like, okay, well, um, all of, then you have to be cleared by your primary care physician and you also have to be cleared by a psychiatrist. Um, you have to have a meeting with her, let her know why you want to do surgery, is this the last option, and all this stuff. Um, <clears throat> and then I got my surgery date, which was January, it was early January, I don't remember, like January 14th, January 12th. January 12th was my surgery date, I did my 7 day liquid diet prior to, um, prior to my surgery date, I did the entire thing, the morning of surgery they called me, hey, we're gonna have to reschedule, I'm like what? bawled my eyes out tears real tears bawled my eyes out. i already took i'm on leave for work at this point everybody has given me flowers giving me their kudos like you know be safe have a have a great procedure things like that like i was not only embarrassed but it's like dang like really i worked so hard seven days no food like i worked so hard so hard so hard so hard and they took that away from me. So I was like, oh, F it. I don't want it anymore. Well, of course, the lady's off the phone now. But I'm like, I don't want it anymore. Like, I don't want to go through this again. And then they called me back maybe two weeks later. And they were like, hey, we actually have another. Surgery. They didn't have any beds in the hospital. They called me back February. Uh, they called me back two weeks later. And they told me that my new surgery date is going to be February 1st. So um, that was that. The morning of. They're like, well, Miss Rose. Ooh, y'all don't even hey they're like well hi good morning um don't head to the hospital just yet we don't have any extra beds for you to stay the night i'm just like oh what does that mean and then she called me back an hour later she's like okay you can go ahead and head to the hospital we will go ahead and proceed to, proceed with your surgery found we found a room for you um but i do want to let you guys know that it is very much a mental thing and it you will go through a lot not necessarily the way that i did or with the discouragement and things like that um or just no space in the hospital but covid was just now picking up again um at that point and i can't stress this enough take a lot of before pictures take a lot of before pictures at your biggest I don't have any. That's why I want to stress this. I don't have any because I'm, oh, I don't look good. This is disgusting. Why am I this big? Da, 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 da. I was very, 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 I wouldn't say insecure because I look good in anybody that I'm in mentally. But I didn't take any pictures because I didn't like the way that I looked. But now I don't have any before and after pictures to compare to as to why, like my Instagram and stuff like that, I'm not doing more reels because I don't have anything to show um and besides that check on your support system let every everybody that's in your circle that you trust let them in you need somebody to talk to no matter my friends they 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 were on me like clockwork like hey did you take your vitamins today hey did you do this today hey did you do that today like they were a part of me like my brothers my friends they were they were just on it um don't let the the negative people oh you haven't even went to the gym yet and you want to do surgery don't let them deter you don't let them discourage you don't let them don't let them do it do it for you do it because you want to do it <laughs>